I can't put this in. Nope, you should. You should delete this. Immediately. What's up guys, welcome to the video. So, little change of plans. Um, the whole football thing is getting scrapped. I'll get into that at the end of the video. Now, it is April 5th. It's like 12. I still got some stuff I gotta do. I just got my macros. That's what we're gonna get into. We're gonna get into a 12 week prep for a show I'm looking at doing um, at the end of June. So tomorrow is gonna be the first day of it. Um, I've been really, I've been waiting for the perfect time to like start documenting. You know, I was gonna wait till I, I moved for the football thing, but they got that folded. Um, but now we're just gonna roll into it. I've been waiting for the perfect time. The, trying to make the perfect video, you know, like, but I'm just gonna say fuck it. I'm just gonna put out shit. I'm just gonna document raw. It's gonna be a lot of raw stuff. Hopefully, I'm gonna shoot to put out two, three videos a week. We'll see, but I really, really, really want to document this. I think it's gonna be really cool to be able to look back a year from now, two years from now, however long, and then see my progression and actually like see videos and see the progression. I did kind of document a little last year on my Instagram, but not really as much as I like. And even today, like seeing uh, the the pictures, or whatever pop up, and like it does like I do like that. But I think this will be way more in depth, and I think I can bring a lot more value doing this this way, and then documenting exactly what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, and I think it, it could be beneficial to maybe one person, that, that'd be cool. Um, but I just got my macro, so I'm gonna go to the grocery store right now, and it's 12, so we can start fresh tomorrow. So, I'll see you then. We just, me and Logan here, you know. It's me, again! I'm black! Back, I mean. He's black. Um, we, we had Cracker Barrel, that's the best way to start off a prep, you know. Um, now, now we're just shooting the shit, you know, just jerking each other off. Just nah, never done that. <laughs> that'll that doesn't def happen. That'll, that'll definitely be edited out. Yes, uh, yeah, that's, yeah, that's a good thing. It, it. Um, uh, nah. get some vlog content out today. Oh, another reason why I stopped making videos for the past couple of months is because I didn't even have my own computer. My computer, my MacBook, it's... Uh, hard drive was bad, so I had to get that replaced. So now I don't have an excuse to not put out shit really consistently. So if I don't, then I get on my ass. So like slap me across the head or something. But um, Logan's got a haircut, so I'm gonna go video that because I know that's something all you guys want to see. Yeah. Um, very interesting. Like Ben, probably. He's probably <laughs> getting off on that right now. <laughs> He's going to be like, why'd you do that to me, bro? <laughs> but yeah, goodbye. Looks down, Tatiana. I want to see you best. <laughs> so we just walked in. Uh, I'm about to get run over by a car. Um, Logan doesn't want to support uh, Guma by purchasing a 3D, but I will. I'll, I'll do that for him. Um, everyone's looking at me. I don't support it. We're talking about 3D energy. Um, yeah, because it's pretty fairly new. new. Fairly new, yes. Explain to me. Tell us all. It used to be up energy. Yes. No longer. But now he's got him in uh, GNCs. Get at your local GNC. In, in stores everywhere. April, I really lost my voice. Um, mama, <laughs> um, and it's so cool, guys, because like I'm supporting Christian Guzman by getting his 3D energy drink. Oh wow, that's and he also has a bookstore. That would be a different. Um, yeah, Christian, I didn't know he has a bookstore a here in Christian, Coleman. Though. That's a different. That's a different person. No, that's no, definitely Christian Guzman. It's not though. He's a 
Christ. He's real business savvy. Yeah, but Christ. No, I wouldn't be surprised. Christ is, uh... I can't put this in. Nope, you should. You should delete this. Immediately. Now, little update. Now we're at Dick's. The place that didn't hire me. Look at me now. Still unemployed. Leaving Dick's. All I ask is from Logan is one thing. Say, like, hey, can we do this one thing in there? They bought the golf cart, a skit, like some super glue. No, no scissors. Super glue. No super glue. And this bitch. Don't call won't me sell that. Out for content. Don't call me that anymore. He won't sell out for the content. I sell out for the culture. You sweat? All right, enough of those shenanigans. Logan left me. He didn't want to lift. It's okay. Um, but we are gonna just jump into a workout. It's gonna be a pool day. It's not gonna be a commentary because I can't speak. But all right, we're just gonna jump into it. Trust me, a lot of them do I gotta say that I'm proud of them too Most of these people spend hours in school End up with nothing but a sour view Couple of papers that they power through Ooh. Yeah, yeah, please do not step in my way This is my time, my voice is power, yes I put my weapon to play I just need to get my foot in correct I just need to get my head in the game I just need to let them know if they fuck with the kid I'll probably paint them red in the aim I'm not mad, it's all cool I know you don't fuck with the shit I do But I still love you But I still love you Rolling, 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 rolling with it I'm not mad, rolling with it It's all cool, rolling with it I know you don't fuck with the shit I do But I still love you Rolling with it Rolling with it. Rolling, 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 rolling. I can't, I can't speak. Right, so what happened with NGL? NGL is the National Great Iron League. It's a semi-professional arena football team. So I learned about this through an ad, really, during like August 2018. And uh, they were preparing to get ready for the 2019 season. Um, <clears throat> shortly after that, I learned about it. I went to a combine towards the end of September in Atlanta. I'll probably put some footage of that in here because I made a video about it. But um, and then shortly after that, I had a draft. And then at the combine, I uh, got in touch with the uh, Georgia coach. Um, after the draft, I got a contract. And then after that, we were rolling. We were, after that, we were rolling. We were having like meetings every week, every weekend. Uh, we had these mini camps and training camps set up, dates. And then they just kept on getting postponed or rescheduled and it was kind of like, oh, uh, okay. Like, not prepared or is the league not prepared or funding or like what's going on, you know? And then like me, I try to stay up to date on everything on their website. I'll put the link in their website in the description too, so you can go see. But they posted like two times about a team having 
a venue, an arena, like deals with them or contract or whatever. And then there's 10 other teams. And so it's just really, really discouraging, you know. Um, then <clears throat> DMing players from my team and we're like, we don't know what's going on. Um, <clears throat> the season's supposed to start March 31st, but it gets closer and closer to that time, and we're supposed to have a training camp. That gets postponed, and then it winds up just the whole the season is going to get postponed about four weeks because they wanted to uh, be able to promote and promote ticket sales and stuff. Like, okay, I can see one is like, okay, that's a good idea. That's an okay idea, like, who, like promote so there's actually people there. But shortly after that, they wrapped up the whole thing and said they're looking for the looking at the 2020 season, which I don't know where that leaves me. I don't even know if I'll be interested in doing that next year. <clears throat> but it just sucks because it's wasted a lot of time. You know, I guess. I guess. I don't know, I mean, that's just how life is. Like, if you, whatever you want, like, you put 110% into that, but you don't know that opportunity is ever gonna come. You, like, it doesn't matter what it is, like your job, you want a promotion, you want the best physique of your life. You Like, whatever your goal is, you put 110% into that, like, hoping that opportunity is gonna come, but it may not. But on the contrary, like, what if that opportunity does come knocking and you haven't put 110% into it and you're left on your ass? So I guess on that part, I don't uh, really regret that part. But because there's a lot of talent in this league, like, you can uh, check out the website. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of talent in this league, and I feel bad for them as well because they passed up on other contracts and other leagues. They could actually be playing right now. They may can still do that, but they passed out on them for this league. And then the league folds and wait until 2020. But that's basically what happened. And it's kind of embarrassing because, you know, you tell everybody, this is what I'm doing, this is what I'm up to. And then the league folds, but and now I get to do what I want to do which is prep for a show, which I was kind of getting that itch, you know, seeing summer shredding starting and stuff, but no, we're going to get into it. So if you like the video, you can subscribe. You should subscribe. I'm sure you laughed at least once, maybe. I like how stupid we are, but all right. See you next